He had a crazy jazz collection. But within his jazz collection, he had in our house. Now, you know, we grew up in Roosevelt, nice small house, you know, me, my brother, my sister, my pops when he was there. Um, he wired our whole house with sound. Now, we had sound in the basement, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. He had a microphone, so he used to do his own little DJ work. <coughs> You know, when I was young, you know, it's like, what? This, I'm just, I'm talking about, oh, uh, y'all don't put my age out there. This was like 68, 69. So he always, I guess in his, in his life, he always wanted to be a DJ. But that sort of sparked me and my brother um, into this music thing. I had another cousin that turned us on to funk music from the George Clintons to the Sly Stone, James Brown. James Brown, of course, that I made a lot of a lot of checks off of James Brown. But um, you know, so from there, that's where it, it built up. Um, and it was uh, it was pretty cool. You know, we had a next door neighbor, they had a band, and I had my little drum set. I thought I was nice, I thought I was the next Clyde Stubblefield, but nah wasn't happening. Um, and and that whole thing just took shape as the years went on um, by, you know, my family always throwing house parties. Oh, we had a house party, Christmas, New Year's, Labor Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July. Our house was the party house. And, you know, we had this I learned from my parents. So from then, you know, we just started to get into music from a situation that arrived at Roosevelt Youth Center. So they had martial arts programs going on, but I took more to, me and my brother took more to the DJ because my next door neighbor helped set this up. And what it was was we was learning how to do on-air DJing within the youth center. And everybody thought the youth center was an actual radio station. Um, we had our own call letters, WRYC. You know, we had everything. And one of our favorite DJs that we loved coming up, and he's all radio personality. This was before the, the DJ, the actual turntable stuff came in. Um, Hank Spann, WWRL, Frankie Crocker, Gary Bird, all these other kind of cats was our inspiration. So in the U Center, this is where we learned how to play one turntable to the next. Now, this is 73. There's no mix. Big ass knobs. Or we use band PA systems where the band plug into the heads and we just turn tape and plug into that. So we used to mix like that. No headphones, no cueing. There was this thing that we used to call out cue. So we used to turn the volume up, turn the turntables, cut it back and forth so we know we got the beginning of the record. Turn it down, then let it go. Turn the other knob. It's a lot of, lot of work here, you know. So your little DJ's come a long way since then. Then all of a sudden, as the whole disco and DJ scene became a lot more prominent, the mixer came out. GLI, I think it had the first mixer, was very expensive for us. I guess my first slide mixer with the crossfade that I got was from um, this England company called Clubman. It was the Clubman, the Clubman mixer. Two, slip, two faders, slide, and cueing. And that was the first time we ever saw cueing. And this came around about 76. The mobile scene, was incredible at this time. Now, for most of y'all that understand, the mobile scene originated, you know, from the Jamaicans the, with the big sound, sound systems. systems. You know, the big sound systems and the sound boys coming through with your King Tubbies and they used to set up down in, in Jamaica with the crazy sound systems. A couple of those guys moved up to, I want to say, to Brooklyn. So Brooklyn had the first, to me, strongest mobile scene era going on. You had guys like Grandmaster Flowers, where Grandmaster Flash got his name from, my boy, um, Ron Plummer. These guys used to come to the parks, or mostly like Reese Beach, and set up in Brooklyn and get busy. Now you gotta understand, I'm like 13, 14 years old hanging out in this spot with my brother, and we was amazed by these guys. And another, another one of my heroes, local heroes, Pete DJ Jones. These guys had the sound system. Now this was before 
I'm gonna say before the cool hurts and the band bodies. How we knew somebody was at the park from a mile away we used to hear like at my house, I used to hear something going like, mm, 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 mm. we was like, uh oh, you know what that is? DJ's at the park. 